Interviews are like Tinder dates. You know whether you want to stay for the rest within the first minute. It's true, isn't it? I've been on dates where I sat down with a person across from me and I knew within a few minutes that there wouldn't be a second date. Then it becomes a matter of appearing polite enough for as little time as possible and getting out of there as soon as possible. Interviewing is just like dating for both an employer and a potential employee. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the differences between a good interview and the bad interview so that you can watch out for red flags and quickly be able to tell whether you will have that great team chemistry. The plan. A good date starts with a good plan. The last thing anyone wants to hear is what do you want to do or where do you want to eat? It's much better if a neutral suggestion is made and everybody agrees. An interview is the same thing. A candidate that has a ton of questions and odd requests before even getting to an interview is a gigantic red flag. These are included but not limited to can I be paid on an hourly basis as a full-time employee? How many sick days will I get? Can I bring my cat to work? If you get questions like this, it might be better to pass right off the bat. Same as with dating, you don't want to meet offline a person with whom you haven't had some good compatibility over text and phone first. Good basic candidate screening never gets old. Simply following up with your shortlisted candidates and confirming whether they are aligned with the salary level, the schedule, the starting date, and the key requirements of the role they have just applied to will brush off up to 80% of the candidates. Speaking from my recruitment experience. Good appearance. While us girls don't expect men to show up on a first date in a three-piece suit, we generally do expect you to smell good and look neat. And likewise, we also don't show up on a date looking like we've just rolled out of bed. Interviews are the same way. If someone shows up to an online interview but doesn't have a professional appearance, you should 100% take this into account. Now, you shouldn't expect them to show up in a suit and tie, but they should look prepared and presentable. Their background looks neat, they're at a desk, their face is seen well, and there is no camera shaking or weird noises in the background. This is an indicator of whether the person cares about the opportunity. And we are not hiring people who don't care, especially in this economy. You should factor all of this into your final decision. First impressions matter, and your gut instinct is almost never wrong. Chemistry. Someone's dating profile might have all of these great things that attract you, but you meet up with them in person and they're just a terrible human being. Or they might have a boring profile and there's still so much to learn about them, but they are a great person beneath the surface. You just never know, but you can't ignore chemistry. Everything comes down to chemistry. Some people look great on their CV, they have all the proper experience, they worked at prestigious companies before, but you just don't click with. Other people don't have an impressive resume, maybe they're even lacking the proper experience, but you absolutely hit off with them. They're a great fit for your company's culture and they'll fit with the rest of the team or you seamlessly. Like, do you understand each other quickly? Does this person have a similar speech and thinking pace? Can you already see how this cooperation will bring value to both of you? Can you learn from each other? And can you just have fun when you're interacting? Sometimes it's best to trust that chemistry. A good date is just like a good interview. There is a good plan, people put their best foot forward, and there's chemistry. A bad date is just like a bad interview. There is no plan, nobody puts in any effort, and it's a dud. If you're looking to find your soulmate or even just your next employee, taking all of this into account will help you make a decision on whether to move forward with someone or not. If you need someone to play a recruitment matchmaker for you, then click the link in the description below and learn how Hire you can help you find a talent you'll have great chemistry with in just five days. Unfortunately, we can't help you with finding a date, but we wish you all the best in that department too. And if you're looking into what to avoid during an interview, watch this video about the world's deadliest employees that my colleague Anastasia made. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.